finally saw Sinbad and the Legend of the Seven Seas, which came out in twenty in two thousand three, and got a quite quite a nice voice cast. Uh, you know, Michelle Pfeiffer, Brad Pitt. people like that and uh, Catherine Zeta-Jones so basically this is one of those cartoons that like Hercules Disney's Hercules has that kind of edgy kind of ang more angular -ish style and uh, judging from the logo at the beginning of the stream it this is from Universal I, I wasn't sure if it was a Disney movie or not Universal and DreamWorks So basically, I mean, this is a well done movie. It's nothing great, but it's not bad at all. And of course, deals with uh, it deals with Sinbad, the Arabian Nights hero, and the goddess Eris, voiced by Michelle Pfeiffer. It's really cool. She's looking down at the earth and plotting to steal. You know, a magical, a magical book that would have an effect on the whole world. So she tries to get Sinbad to steal it, and you know she lies to him and all that. But you have to see for yourself whether or not he holds her to at least one thing she says. And of course, Michelle Pfeiffer makes for uh, her, you know, her voice. You know, she lends it in her sexy voice to the dark, flowing hair, the evil goddess. And it's cool how uh, Eris' pets look. It's awesome. And, you know, the plot is a bit thin. It, it doesn't really get going that much till almost the halfway mark. But, you know, it's not, real, it's not real boring, but it's not real fast moving at first. Then, of course, they have all kinds of fun action scenes and awesome monsters and all that. And well, what can I say? He, you know, he has a friend. He has a friend, and Catherine, Z Catherine Zeta Jones play voices the friend's fiance. And you know, for a while, you kind of wonder if she's, if she really loves her fiance back, because he appears to love her. And and of course, we have the wise-looking king with the white beard and <laughs> flowing robes. And as some people have complained, I'm not complaining, but I, you know, not to be picky and I'm not an expert, but, you know, I, from all the other Sinbad movies I've seen and all the, what, what I know from, about him being an Arabian Nights hero, it seems like it could have been a little bit more uh, Arabic and more Arabian somehow. And I suppose some people complain that a little bit of the clothing, clothing was somewhat modern or just plain generic. It isn't too, it isn't bad. Uh, I just kind of thought about it, kind of, I just didn't let that bother me because it, the movie does pick up and there's, there's some really cool, it almost seems like a tribute to the ocean and all its wonders. And it's cool, one of the gadgets that, that Sinbad's ship has since, yeah, I'm sure in those days they had not invented the cannon for hundreds of years. I'm sure that was the idea. And so what can I say? I mean, this is this is a pretty fun movie. It's no masterpiece, but it could have even been a little bit better. But it's not, it isn't bad, and we kind of have a happy ending. Sinbad, of course, is a rogue and a thief and all that. And there are some dilemmas in it, and... People have their reasons for trying to get Sinbad to do certain things, and is he just going to run away or go back to where the movie starts and and get killed for a crime that he did not commit? So of course this movie's PG. It's, not, it's pretty much nonviolent, but there's a couple of almost decapitation executions. So, and they try to create suspense, but you know, it, it isn't going to happen. So, I didn't think it was rated G. I wasn't sure, but it's 
pretty good movie for the whole family. And but well, I did like it better than the Golden Voyage of Sinbad and maybe I and the Tiger. And you know, there's nothing against cartoons, but there is something about live action that has all these things. Nothing against cartoons at all, or I wouldn't have watched it. So, besides, some of us watch adult cartoons, uh, South Park and all that. So anyway, all I can say is it, it, it's well animated, it's, you know, the music is good. Not that it's a musical, but I mean the background music, the... And the voices, you know, the voices were pretty darn good, so... So all I can say is it's recommended. This is George saying it's a wrap. Ciao. And incidentally, if you like this channel, smash that like button. And if you got it enough, enough out of it, go ahead and subscribe. Feel free to subscribe and see some other. So, you know, whenever I put up a, another video, well, most of you know the drill. So anyway, talk to you later. Bye.